to this video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Jules Juliet. Today we're gonna get ready with me. I've already washed my face. We're gonna do our eyebrows real quick. Literally, I'm not gonna plug them because I don't have time to plug them and I don't have like my original tweezers. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use this baby right over here. And if you guys seen my videos, I've, I've used this before. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go under here. All right, now, once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and apply some moisturizer. I'm gonna be using the Skin Fix, just a little bit. We're just gonna dab this on. I love how lightweight this really is. All right, now, once we have that on, we're gonna go ahead and use this baby right over here. I really need to go buy myself a new one. It's from Makeup Forever. This is a step one skin equalizer and this one's our mattifying one. I'm mostly putting it around my nose because that's where I have like the most oil consumption. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my Tarte. This one is the Prime Timeless Primer. The Clean Slate Timeless Primer I'm just going to put this where my pores are at. Whew. So once we have that going on, we're going to go ahead with our Tarte Shape. Use it where we currently have our acne just to lighten this up just a little bit. Get some brightness going on. Alrighty now. Now we're going to go ahead and use our Fenty Beauty. And I'm also going to use some of the CoverGirl. I mean, why not? I love using Fenty Beauty. But it's a very matte product and usually I only use this for my T-zone. And just one pump goes all the way through. Whew. Keep in mind with Fenty Beauty, you are going to have to blend a little bit faster than normal. Because this does dry down matte pretty fast. Alright, now we're going to highlight again our face. We're going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to go in just a little bit, just to brighten it up, just a smidge. Alrighty now, so once we have this going on, we're going to go ahead and bake. Now, I don't really contour my face, because I'm just not a big fan of it. Um, I prefer using the contouring powder more than anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Aerospun, make sure I have, I have like really long, eye creases so I have to make sure that there's nothing there that's going to make it make sure that you guys are creaseless down here because you don't want to have a chunky line we look like a mess but it's okay right now all we're doing is settling all the liquids and just sucking it in and making sure it's a long lasting makeup all right all right all right guys let's bronze up I'm going to be using this one right over here this one's the cheek paradise and I'm going to go ahead and use at the Hula. We have finally hit pan, which is like, yay. That means I get to buy a new one. Then we're going to go with Hula Light and just go right over here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab like a mini Kabuki brush. We're going to go into Hula Light and just contour our nose. Time to remove the rest of the powder. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of blush and I'm gonna go in with California and just a little bit. Moving on to highlighter. For highlighter today, we're gonna be using two, which is gonna be the Anastasia Amarisi and then we're gonna be using the Laura Geller New York. This is a honey glide. So let's start off with Amarisi. She is beautiful. Look at that. We're just going to go ahead and, all right now, and then we're going to go ahead and get some honey in there. Just because I feel like this is a little bit too light for my skin, I'm just going to grab a little bit of honey just to bronze it in a bit. Let's get browing. All right, all right. And now we're going to fill them in. Alrighty guys, so brows are looking pretty freaking good. We're going to go ahead and set our makeup, and we're going to be using the Morphe Continuing Spray. And I'll be back with the finishing look. Alrighty, beauties, and this is a finished look. I ended up putting these lashes from Kiss. They're from the Mink, um, False Mink collection. I ended up using the Gala ones. I was going to be using these, 
but they're a little bit small and I'm like, no, I want something dramatic right now. So, uh, yes, this is our finishing look. Did use a lot of the Morphe colors. I tried this experiment, which ended up being a fail, but did use the majority of the Morphe colors on my eyes. <sighs> And then for my lips, I have, I ended up buying this one, the Dose of Colors, and this is our satin one. It's really, really creamy, and that's what I like about it right now. My lips are currently dry above, so I didn't want to use a matte lipstick. So use this one. This one's in the color Toasted, which online, it looked a lot more darker than what it really is. It's kind of like very peachy. It reminds me a lot of the Kylie one. Very, very similar. It's very, very, like, very, very moisturizing. So I actually like it. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup, and I'm going to get ready. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys will be informed anytime I upload a video. If you guys like this makeup, um, comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to do, like, an eye tutorial. It's really simple. I didn't really do a lot, so I don't think I needed to film it. But if you guys want me to film more eyeshadow looks, comment down below. And don't forget to share this video as well. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you guys would notice too. And I'll see you beauties later.